Hey and welcome back to Living with Pixels. In this video I want to show you how you can set up a coming soon page for your website inside of WordPress in a really easy way. Uh, you can also use this technique for a website that is under construction or under maintenance. I use this technique myself on almost every website that I deliver for a client uh, because it looks really professional and it also has a functional reason uh, because if your website is under construction you don't want the visitors to visit the pages that you're working on. You want every visitor to be redirected to the coming soon page uh, because otherwise they will see pages that are not finished yet. This technique works for existing websites and for new websites and is completely free to do. In order to achieve this you need two things. One, you need a plugin that returns all the visitors back to the coming soon page and you need a way to create that page that looks something like this. So luckily Elementor is here and Elementor has both of these features built in for free and if you have the pro version of Elementor you can of course also do this. So I'm here on a website where I want to set up the coming soon page because right now it looks like this uh, and I'm still developing this website and now anybody can access the website and see this which is not really professional and it will take a few weeks to transform this into uh, the design that I created. Uh, so here you can see the design that I created in Adobe XD. So in the next couple of weeks, I will be transforming this design into a real website. So let's set up the coming soon page. Uh, so I'm here inside of the dashboard of WordPress. And the first thing that you want to do is install Elementor. If you've not installed Elementor yet, it's a free plugin. You can download it on livingwithpixels.com slash links. And then it's over here, get Elementor for free. You will get a zip file and you need to upload the zip file here under plugins. So if you go to install plugins, you can click on add new. And here you can upload the plugin, choose the zip file that you've downloaded off that page and click on install now. And now you have Elementor installed on your website. Uh, so now you have this tab over here. And if you then go to tools, you can see the maintenance mode tab over here. So if you click on the tab, uh, you will see a few options. Uh, Elementor offers two options. One is the coming soon option and one is the maintenance option. The difference between those two is that the coming soon option is good for SEO. So if you put it on coming soon, your website will still be indexed by Google. So people can still find you via Google and if you don't want that. So let's say you want the minimum amount of traffic on the website uh, when the website is under construction that you put it on maintenance mode because then the uh, search engines will not index your website. So for this website, I'm going to put it at coming soon, but this will only work if we create a test template so what we need to do is we need to create a coming soon template and design the page that we want so I click on create now and now I can give it a name so I'm gonna give it a name coming soon one for example and I'm gonna click on publish and now you will see this button edit with Elementor so I'm gonna click on the button and now the full screen Elementor editor will open and I don't need the footer and the header on the coming soon page so first I will set it up as a full screen page so go to Elementor canvas then you will see no footer no header just elementor then you will have a full page design so now let's create a coming soon page real quick so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create just one big section like this i'm going to give it a little bit of height so for desktop i'm going to put it at 800 that's good enough for now i want to give it a background so i'm going to upload an image here so click on the image and I want to upload an image on this website. I only have two logos. So let's say that we want this picture as the background. I'm just going to drag in a picture like this. Click on insert. Now let's change a few settings over here. I always put it on center, no repeats. And I also want to add a background overlay uh, because I'm going to put text over this image. So click on classic. And if you want to create a black overlay, just make sure you have black selected like this. And then the opacity, you can change that over here. So let's say I want to put it like this. Now I just want to put in a logo and a text. So I'm going to drag in a heading like this. So I clicked on the nine dots. I dragged in a heading, align that in the middle. I'm going to type in coming soon over here. I'm going to change the color to white like this. And now I'm also going to add a logo. So go back to the nine dots, drag in an image like this. Click on the image again and now I want to drag in the logo. Boom. Go to style. Make that a lot smaller. So select this width like this. That looks all right. And you can of course add a lot of things to this page. But right now this is good enough for the tutorial. The only thing that you want to do is check it for tablet and mobile. So if you click on tablet for now, 
I want to adjust the height because 800 pixels is a little bit too high on a tablet. So just click on your main section, go back to layout and then change the minimum height to something a little bit different. Maybe 600 on tablet and for mobile change that to 500 or maybe a little bit bigger. You can see that the logo now is really small so you can also change the logo size like this on mobile and this is good enough for now so i'm gonna click on update now i want to go back to the tools and now i'm gonna click on refresh so just click on the refresh icon over here or click on command r or Control r and now you can select a template because we have just created that template if you now click on choose template you can see that the coming soon template is over here that we've just created so I'm going to click on coming soon right now and I'm going to put the maintenance mode on coming soon. And now let's go to the website. Right now, as you can see, it's still the homepage. Doesn't look very professional. We're going to go back to tools and we're going to save the changes. So if I click on save the changes, as you can see now the maintenance mode is on. And if I go back to the website and I click on refresh, we are still going to see the normal website because we are logged in. But now if you go into incognito so for anybody else that is not logged in and they will go to the website you will see that we will get the coming soon page no matter to what page we go so even if we type in slash home we will be redirected to the coming soon page the only thing that i don't like is that you see this coming soon one text over here so how you can change that is like this you go back to the inside of wordpress and then you go to templates go to saved templates and what i want to do now is change the title over here so if I click on quick edit and then I can just delete the one like this click on update and check if it's changed so refresh this page and as you can see right now this looks a lot better so now anybody who will visit this website will get this page that's all I wanted to show for this video if you want more videos like this check out my channel or leave a comment below on what you want to see in the next video and then I want to thank you for watching